This gecko has an attitude problem. Uh -uh. No! This is a gecko. No! Uh-uh! Okay, that's pretty, pretty comfortable. And there's a bug. Okay, that's scary. But we saw monkeys and water buffalo. Yeah, almost dying's okay if you see monkeys. I'm in the tuk driving slow. Getting to my destination? I don't know. Guess where we're at. Not only are we in a tuk-tuk, but we're in Bang Viet. Yes, we're taking a tuk-tuk to, to our resort. It's gonna be about 14 minutes or 45. <laughs> we weren't quite sure what he was saying. But yeah, we have not been in a tuk-tuk before, so super fun. We just got off a five, a five hour bus ride uh, that took us all the way from Luang Prabang here to Bang Viet. We've been taking a lot of bus rides. We've been having a lot of uncomfortable travel, so we decided to uh, book this little resort. It's not too expensive, but it's really nice. It's right on a lake, and it also has a pool. So we're gonna do a little bit of relaxing time. There is supposed to be free kayaks, and there's supposed to be a monkey island, so we're gonna go check that out. dropped off from our tuk-tuk. We're gonna go ahead and give you a tour. Okay, so follow me this way. Here's our beautiful bed. Let me try it out. Okay, it works. And we have glass doors here that show you the beautiful view. our second day here we just had our complimentary breakfast and Eric's uh, working on editing I'm kicking back relaxing I recently started f not feeling so well so I'm just kind of taking it easy and I wanted to show you the view today although it's been raining for the last you know day and a half um, hopefully we'll be able to take the kayaks out and go to Monkey Island which is right around the corner from us yesterday we dip took a dip in the pool and so far we're just loving every minute of being in our little bungalow oasis it is finally cleared up and the weather is look like it's blue skies right now and so we're going to be going kayaking pretty soon. Eric's put the drone up and we've made a friend. This puppy is come to our patio and he is the owner's dog, and he wants attention. Go out wherever you of the sky clearing up and we just kayaked out here to Monkey Island. Now the owner of this close by resort to ours, uh, he had five monkeys and he released them onto this island since then. I think this was a year ago. They already have a baby as well so they're starting to multiply. They're not exactly friendly. Uh, one of the people at our resort said that one of the guests got too close last week and the big boss, the big male, he jumped in the boat and the tourist jumped out of his boat. He was safe, but he got completely wet. Yeah, so we were being extra careful, and I will show you a little glimpse of what that looks like. Taking on water, and it was getting super. 
super, super tippy. Almost every single time we paddled, water was almost coming up over the edge. And we ended up just taking it onto this little piece of land and trying to pull it up. And it's super heavy. Look at all the water coming out of it. We actually thought it was the size of our butts at first, which was the explanation. And then we realized the plug got unplugged. We just got back from kayaking and I want to talk a little bit about our frustrating experience. We're out there kayaking, we had a great time, we saw the water buffalo, and we found Monkey Island. We were looking at the wrong island at first, and we were kayaking by this other island. We looked to our right, and we found, saw the monkeys. There was, a, we saw four, I think there's a family of five. At any rate, we started to kind of uh, venture back towards our resort. Eric's kayak started to be like underwater. We started to shake a lot, and we were really worried that we were gonna go under, so we went to a nearby island. We jumped off, as you saw the video. We let the, all the water out, and we started to go again. I looked at another kayak and was missing a plug. The plug's really important so the kayak doesn't fill up and so you don't be submerged in water. I'm a little frustrated that that more attention wasn't paid to that. If we weren't paying attention, we could have probably just, you know, sunk. And luckily, I had a life jacket on. I'm not the best swimmer. Eric's a good swimmer, but still, it's the, the fact that if you are, you know, taking the precautions necessary, those kind of things should be checked out so guests aren't at risk. I mean, imagine if you had your child in the back. I don't know. I'm just a little frustrated and hot-headed about it right now. I'm sure I'll cool off about it. Anyways, we realized what the problem was, that the kayak was missing its plug. It kind of put a damper on the mood. We were both kind of scared and worried that we were going to keep tipping multiple times. But we did learn a lesson. Take everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off with been slide Riding the highest dream, keeping the fire real I call for you Hold your gun, cut the wire Aim for fun, with the light your fire I've been flying up the ceiling Take it by this feeling Baby, we're invisible and fast Fueling every engine Power is descending Baby, we're invisible Over the car fun being in paradise at green view resort this place was super relaxing i got a ton of work done um we are sad to say that we have to go yeah now we are looking forward to going to vntn which is the capital of laos just have to take a three and a half hour bus ride there and then we will catch up with you all right see you around the world bye guys bye